Alright, I just want to give you guys an update on the garden. I want to thank John Kohler once again for giving me some tips and advice on how to do a better garden out there. Um, I'm probably going to implement uh, most of those tips probably for next year's garden because uh, this one's already pre-done. So, um, first up, I did put the mulch down on with it, so that's a good thing and definitely kept the moisture on the plants. So I think I just didn't get enough sun. Um, I'm getting a lot of tomatoes, but the leaves are just not there. So I want to give you a quick tour of what some of the best tomatoes I got here. Um, all right, and I'll give you that tour right now. All right, right here we got. <clears throat> all right, probably one of the most interesting tomatoes I got here is a red striped cavern tomato, and it is a, a stuffer tomato, which uh, means it's hollow on in the inside and kind of looks like a a red pale pepper, but but it's not. And that's a tomato, and it's hollow inside. I'm definitely gonna probably utilize this in a whole bunch of different recipes. So definitely one to check out. And right here we got the mortgage lifter tomato. Uh, these tomatoes get up to five pounds. Uh, I think they're the world's record uh, holder for the largest tomato out there. Uh, it's got a cool history behind it, and why they call it the mortgage lifter. Uh, somebody paid off their mortgage uh, with uh, some of these tomatoes, growing these tomatoes and selling them. And this tomato right here is the banana leg tomato. It's really good. It's kind of like a uh, yellow Roma tomato. And right here we get another one of those stuffer tomatoes. We got a yellow version of it. And this tomato right here is called the red reef tomato. Really. Uh, Excited to try out one of these. I think it's a German variety. Also, I got some purple tomatillas. They're not ready yet, but they're growing like crazy, though. Can't wait to check them out. And right here, we got the Arkansas Traveler. And right here, we got the Arkansas Traveler tomato. Here we got the Health Kick tomato, which has the highest lycopene out of all the tomatoes out there, which is also good for um, preventing sunburn. And right here we got the Purple Cherokee. This is my all-time favorite tomato in the whole world. And I've tried hundreds of different kind of tomatoes. Definitely, this is my favorite by far. So I just want to share with you guys the tomatoes that we just picked. I got a whole bowl's worth of different varieties of tomatoes in there. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say that I got these green zebra tomatoes. Check that out. Uh, definitely everybody should uh, start growing their own tomatoes. They're so much better than the, what you get in the stores. And you don't have to worry about pesticides or anything like that. Especially these, uh, Purple Cherokees, I think that's, like I said, that's one of my favorite tomatoes in the world. They're super sweet, super savory, uh, unlike anything you had in the stores. So, there you have it. That's a little bit from my harvest. I probably harvest about like four or five bowls of this yet. So, um, yeah, and I'm going to probably harvest probably a couple more bowls too. So, free food. Go out there. Go get it. All right, we're here at my other garden. I'm a little out of breath. I just do. I just did uh, 21 deadlifts out here in the grass on 315 pounds, and uh, yeah, I left a big hole in the ground. Check out this. I would say it about maybe four four inches in there. Yeah, four inches in there. And I'll show you what I got going with this garden. First up, check out these uh, sunflowers. They're about like seven feet tall. I got a couple varieties. These are the mammoth sides. And you get this for like 50 cents a packet at the, you know, your local uh, gardening center. Like, check this out. Look how big this is. This is like seven feet tall. Isn't that crazy? Man. So I guess you wait. I've never grew these ever before. I guess you wait till it's, um, you got a whole bunch of seeds and you harvest the seeds up there. And also right here, I got a whole bunch of melons and I got a zucchini right here. I'll show you. Got a zucchini right there. And all, all these right here are tomatoes. 
I already picked all the ripened ones right now. And I got a special kind of zucchini or a squash that I want to show you. It's called a patty pan. And um, it's right over there if you want to zoom over there. Right by the, in the front of the house. That's a patty pan. One of the best uh, squashes out there. One of my favorites. A little bit sweeter than your average squash out there. Or a zucchini. And uh, there's my fig trees right there. Alright, right here I got my fig trees. Make sure you water them. I was at Woodstock and uh, all the figs dried up and fell off, so all the leaves did too. So make sure that somebody's watering your plants all the time. They're watering them, but you have to be consistent almost every day, at least a gallon or so, especially with these. Now this one lasted, so uh, that's good. I got about maybe six, seven figs on this and my other fig trees. And I got also chocolate mint right there. I also got a, a lettuce garden on the side of the house. It's just sprouting up. Yeah, that's what I got going for this edition of Fruit and Strength. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. You guys will see me next year at the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2014. We'll be breaking another deadlift record there. I think I'm going to go for 405, maybe 10 times. Uh, maybe I'll go for another record here or something. Alright guys, stay tuned. Eat your fruit and vegetables. And uh, for my Spanish viewers out there, Como frutas la 20 pesos. Means eat fruit, lift weight, and I'll see you guys next year.